Hey everybody, how you doing? Mr. Bookman here, and I will be reading Creepy Cran by Aaron Reynolds and Peter Brown. Please enjoy. Creepy Cran. Jasper Rabbit was struggling in school. He was flunking math. He was failing spelling. The only subject he was passing was art. Jasper needed serious help. <clears throat> That's when he found the crayon. It was purple, pointy and perfect. And somehow it looked happy to see him. That night, Jasper knew he had to study for his spelling test. But Tales from the Car Carrot Patch was on. By the time it was over, he was way too tired to study. The test was a disaster. Jasper couldn't remember how to spell a single word. That's when he noticed something strange. Jasper picked up the crayon. And mainly he spelled all the words correctly. When he got his test back, he got an A plus and a sticker. The crayon looked pleased. Creepy but cool. After dinner, Jasper settled in to play Bunny Brawl. Math homework first, said Dad. Fine, moaned Jasper. That's when he saw it. Scrolled in spectacular purple penmanship. Who needs math when you have Bunny Brawl 3? Three hours later, he fell asleep. His game in his one hand, a crayon in the other. <clears throat> when Miss Lopshire announced a surprise math quiz, Jasper panicked. He reached for a, a pencil, but instead his hand wrapped around the crayon. Suddenly math seemed easy. He knew when to carry the one. He kn knew when to borrow the bigger numbers. It was like the crayon knew exactly what to do. <clears throat> After he, the, qui the quiz, he saw it written on his backpack Jasper plus crayon forever. Jasper felt a shiver go up his spine. The next day was the deadline for the poster contest. Jasper has been working on his entry for weeks. It just needed a few finishing touches. The crayon rolled across the table all by itself. But Jasper ignored it. Don't ignore me. He shredded. He, he shredded the writing of the table. He zipped the crane into the pencil case. He tried to forget all about the crayon. But when he woke up, 
His precious artwork was better than ever. It was horrifying masterpiece in purple. Prize winning poster. Fantastic work, cried Mr. Hoppy Pot. You should be very proud, but Jasper didn't feel proud. He felt eked out. Freaked out. Creeped out. When he got home, Jasper decided De decided into the deepest, darkest corner of the basement. He put the crayon in a dusty box and locked it tight. He went to bed feeling much better. <clears throat> but when he woke up the next day, there was a me there on the mirror, you need me. In the pencil case, the creepy crayon. And it looked happy to see him. The, that day, Jasper got all A pluses. It was terrifying. Enough was enough. Jasper snapped the creepy crayon in two. He melted it in the microwave and threw the mess into the garbage. He drifted to sleep that night feeling relieved. <clears throat> but when he woke up, there was there was his wall it was a mirror of him graduating elementary school with straight A's and worst of all it was really well drawn and next to it the creepy crayon Purple, pointy, and perfect. <clears throat> All day, no matter what Jasper did, the creepy crane was there looking all oh, so pleased. In his hand, he aced his vocabulary quiz in his pocket as Miss Lumpshire named Jasper the most important student in the, in the crowd as the school celebrated Jasper in a special assembly Things were spinning out of control. Jasper couldn't take it anymore. When he got home, he ran straight to the toilet. And he threw the crayon in. It just floated there, spinning slowly. It did not look happy to see him. And then Jasper saw it scribbled inside the bowl. Don't dare you. Jasper dared. He, uh oh. <laughs> he flushed the crane down the toilet. Poor Jasper. That evening, tales from the carrot patch 
was on, but Jasper studied for his spelling test. His eyes kept daring to his pencil case. No creepy crayon. He flung, flung the toilet lid up. No creepy crayon. He got into bed nervously watching his walls. No creepy crayon. <coughs> During the test, Jasper spelled ocean wrong, but spelled courage right. He got a C plus. It was glorious. It wasn't an A, but it was fun. It was his. He headed home from school that day, finally feeling free. <coughs> far, far away was a old sewer pipe. Out and away floated the purple crayon. Slowly, slight. Slightly and drifted for days and weeks. One thing was clear the creepy crayon would never cause trouble ever again. <coughs> Except that when Elliot Pelican spotted the creepy crayon, it was purple, pointy, and perfect. And somehow it looked happy to see him. <laughs> uh, wasn't that a cute story? Uh, do you, have you ever seen a creepy crane before? Let me know with a thumbs up if you've ever had had anything like that happen to you a crayon just appeared that had smile and stuff uh, well everybody I hope all of you enjoyed this book reading and if you did can you give it a thumbs up smash that thumbs up button can you do that and if you're new and you came up on this book reading, can you hit that red subscribe button down below and subscribe to my channel? Also hit that notification bell if you can. I don't know if you can or not, but if you can't, it's okay. But until my next book reading, they call me Mr. Bookman. And this book reading is over. Have a good one, everybody. And take care.